हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर अजीत जायसवाल फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एंथ्रोपोलॉजी पॉन्डिचेरी सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ए मॉड्यूल कॉल्ड होमोसेपियंस अंडर पेपर फिजिकल एंड बायोलॉजिकल एंथ्रोपोलॉजी डियर फ्रेंड डियर स्टूडेंट इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी आर गोइंग टू डेवलप एंड अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ऑफ होमोसेपियंस We will also try to describe the various fossil found discovered from several places in Africa, Asia, Europe, and Australia. We will also try to discuss various model of the evolution of modern human, and also ultimately describe Paleolithic and artistic cultural transition associated with Homo sapiens. Let me give you a glimpse of introductory information about. homo sapiens as we have seen that over the past decades scholars of several discipline they remain keen to understand emergence and evolution of biologically and behaviorally modern human they try to understand they try to find out the reason behind are the linking process are the, the complete process how the human being has emerged how the evolution take place what are the factors are responsible for evolution discoveries of homo erectus from the several sites in different continent inculcated interest among the scholar to trace the missing link between homo erectus and homo sapiens the interpretation of a petrolona skull by stringer later on how well and melantis showed that the size of the brain case differ in skull structure pertaining to enlarged brain size are distinguished feature from homo erectus to homo sapiens means there is enlargement of brain take place encephalization process take place advancement of the thinking take place several discoveries from africa europe asia Australia and New World have established the antiquity of Homo sapiens fossil, and had associated tool technology as well as arts. Homo sapiens. There is no general agreement about the definition of Homo sapiens. Certain biological and cultural characteristics are. attributed to the species sapiens which include increased size of brain case increased height height of skull smaller amount of constriction or wasting behind the orbital orbits relatively lower position of the ridges on the skull for the attachment of the neck muscle association with this or cranial capacity of 900 to 2300 cc rounded occiput bent basic cranial maximum skull breadth higher on the skull flatter face well defined chin and smaller incisor as a distinct feature of homo sapiens post cranial features include straighter long bone with less articular surface for the attachment of muscle bones are thinner than in neanderthal sockets of femur are further forwarded and less powerful grip etc owing to change climatic condition during pleistocene period homo sapiens evolved and developed advanced tool technology and associated art tradition upper paleolithic period is mainly associated to early homo sapiens several scholar believe that pictorial art originated with modern man although neanderthal and modern people emerged almost together it pictorial art developed not before 40000 year ago this suggests that pictorial art is result of environmental change 
and cultural exchange and not because of biological modification. People before modern man might have other creative outlets which are matter of investigation for present day paleoanthropologists. Approaches to understand modern human origin. The dominant hypothesis to understand origin of modern hypothesis are first one a complete or total replacement model, second one is a partial replacement model, third one is the regional continuity model or it is also called as multi-regional evolution model. Complete or total replacement and regional continuity or multi-regional model are too prominent. However, totally opposite view from each other. The third theory that is partial replacement model is a compromise view incorporating some aspect of both the models. Complete or total replacement model. This model was proposed by British anthropologist Christopher Stringer and Peter Andrew. This hypothesis says that Homo sapiens have evolved in Africa around 200,000 years ago. It also proposes that anatomically modern human population emerged only in African continent and then fully modern human migrated to Asia and Europe that is transition from pre-modern to modern exclusively took place in Africa as a result of a speciation process. Thus migrated homo sapiens could not interbreed with non-African human population in other continent and population belonging to genus homo is in other continents where different species such as Neanderthal was Homo sapiens Neanderthalensis and so on. This explanation fit well with the proposition of complete replacement. Genetic technique have changed the theories of human evolution. Genetic studies used numerous contemporary human population as a data source to to precisely determine and compare a wide variety of DNA sequence. They considered Y chromosome and mitochondrial differences particularly informative since neither is significantly recombined during sexual reproduction. It is noteworthy that Y chromosome follow paternal line of inheritance that is from father to son and mitochondrial DNA follow maternal line of inheritance that is mother to daughter without significant deviation. Accumulated data about population worldwide have shown that African aborigines have far greater diversity than population elsewhere across the globe. Apart from genetic data on contemporary human population, DNA samples were collected from more than a dozen of Neanderthal fossils. Further, researchers have recently sequenced that Mitochondrial DNA of nine ancient fully modern Homo sapiens from sites in Italy, France, Czech Republic, and Russia. Pre preliminary results from these studies also support complete replacement model. However, more analysis is needed to confirm the result as several questions have been raised against the finding of these studies. Now let us discuss about the partial replacement model. This model is completely totally different from the earlier model. Here the model explained that there is a partial replacement not a partial replacement take place not the complete one. In fact majority of the scholar are of the view that the modern hum human evolved in Africa and when their population swelled up, they migrated to Asia, 
Europe and other part of the globe. But unlike the complete replacement model earlier one, that supporter of the partial replacement model or replacement hypothesis argue that some interbreeding has taken place between the African immigrant and the resident pre-modern population of the region. Thus, the opinion that no speciation has occurred and the resident pre-modern population, they were, they were member of the species Homo sapiens. And there are a number of persons like Grunter, then John and Fred Smith are the main propondent of this model which is called as partial replacement model. So, this model clearly says that it is not the complete replacement take place that is complete ending of one and ultimately replaced by the newer one. In this case, because of the saturation, because of the swelling, because of the over expensive growth concern, the part of the populations for the survivability they migrated to some other part of the world and over there, over there they undergo interbreeding and in due course of time they partially replace that one. The regional continuity model or multi-regional evolution model. Proponents of this model suggest that major section of local indigenous population in Africa, Europe and Asia continued their indigenous evolutionary development from middle Pleistocene form to modern human. A general and broad anatomical and genetic similarity among different population group across the globe is hard to explain by this model. To counter this argument, multi-regional model theory says that gene flow was possible during Pleistocene period and therefore anatomical and genetic similarities among the population are quite natural. The hypothesis further argue that because of natural selection and gene flow, evolution of several population group in a particular region was not totally independent. The process of mixing prevented speciation and helped evolution of human as only one species that is Homo sapiens. However, it remained a quite polytypic. The model says that all hominids following Homo erectus are classified as single species Homo sapiens. In spite of strong view on regional evolution of modern human, the model also accept influence of African immigrants throughout the world which can easily be detected. Important fossil of Homo sapiens. Measured fossil discoveries of modern human. First from Africa. Fossil discovered from Africa are the oldest. Fossil from Omo in Ethiopia are dated about 195,000 year old as determined by radiometric dating technique. Marked differences in morphological characteristics of two fossils discovered from this site. Fossil Omo is definitely modern morphological characteristics as it has well defined chin. Whereas OMO2 has robust, less modern morphology. Year 2003 is a benchmark in the history of modern human fossil in Africa. When the, then the discovery of Horto fossil from middle Awas region of Ethiopia took place. These are the best dated hominin fossil from this period. Using radiometric dating, this fossil were, were estimated 160,000 to 154,000 year old. The preservation quietly and morphology of fossil clearly demonstrate their close relationship to modern human. 
the cranial capacity of this fossil is 1450 cc that is very similar to contemporary homo sapiens population. They were named homo sapiens idal too to distinguish them from homo sapiens sapiens. In Afar languages idal too means elder. The fossil find from Classis river mouth and border cave in South Africa bears many characteristics similar to modern human. Now let's discuss about fossil in Asia. The site yielded fossil of modern human populations are mainly located in Israel, China and Indonesia. In Israel, anatomically modern human fossil almost of Neanderthal time were discovered from Quafriz and Tabum. The fossil were dated as 120,000 to 92,000 years old. Most of the fossil remains show modern characteristics, however, few representative fossils have pre-modern characteristics. Such early dates of the fossil raise question against theory of complete replacement and also support the view that modern human and Neanderthal together. Significant modern human fossil sites in China and other regions says that the sites belong to late Pleistocene period with date less than 40,000 years ago. Upper cave of Zaukodian yielded three skull with cultural material dated about 27,000 years old. Forward juting geometric arch and Sovel shaped incisor similar to modern Asian population are important evolutionary characteristics present in one of the skull. The, the other important site is Niha cave in Borneo, Iceland of Indonesia from where skull of an adult female was recovered. The radiocarbon dating has estimated the age of the fossil about 41,000 year old. The skull lacked broad ridges, forehead is high and the back of the head is rounded. The feature of Nia skull resembles modern population of New Guinea. It also concluded by few researchers that population contemporary to Nia had perhaps the first population to populate Australia. In Europe, the earliest discovery about Homo sapiens fossil are found from the site in Romania, Czech Republic and France. Cranial remains of three individuals were recovered from OC cave in Romania. Despite being quite robust, cranium has a clear chin and canine fossa, which is similar to modern specimen. Several crania recovered from a site in Czech Republic exhibit variation among them. The average features are intermediately form, forms between Neanderthal and modern man. Western Europe, particularly southern France, has been treasure trove of hominin fossil. Paleoanthropological research in these regions has spanned more than 150 years. This fossil remains major evidence for the theories on modern human evolution as material from other regions of the world were not available for comparison. Discoveries from other parts of the globe and new dating technology has, have changed the discourse of human evolution last few decades. The best yielding sites of modern human fossil is Cro-Magnon, a rock shelter in southwestern France. From this site, several partial skeleton were recovered that are believed to be prototype of homo sapien. A section of scholar believe that Cro-Magnon peoples were light-skinned, beardless, upright walking individual who replaced Neanderthal from Europe. Cro-Magnon generally are characterized by broad and small faces with high forehead and prominent chin and their cranial capacity is 1590 cc. With the help of 
post cranial remains their height was estimated to be around 163 to 183 centimeter however the skin color amount of body hair is mere a guess work the fossil that were discovered from either europe or australia the earliest let's discuss about the the important fossil that were discovered from europe the earliest discovery about homo sapiens fossils are made from the sites in romania Czech Republic and France, etc. The cranial remains of these individuals were recovered from Osa Cave in Romania. Despite being quite robust, cranium has a clear chin and canine fossa, which is similar to modern sapiens. Sever several crania recovered from a sites in Czech, Re Czech Republic exhibit variation among them. The various features are intermediate form between Neanderthal and modern man. Western Europe, particularly southern France, has been a treasure trove of hominid fossil. Paleoanthropological research in this region has spanned more than 150 years. This fossil remains major evidence for the theories on modern human evolution as Material from other regions of the world were not available for comparison. Discoveries from other parts of globe and new dating technologies have changed the discourse of human evolution last few decades. The best yielding sites of a, a, of a modern human fossil, that is Cro-Magnon, is a rock shelter in southwestern France. From this site, several partial skeletons were recovered that are believed to be a prototype of Homo sapiens. A section of scholars believe that Cro-Magnon peoples were light-skinned, beardless, upright-walking individuals who replaced Neanderthal from Europe. Cro-Magnons generally are characterized by broad and small faces with high foreheads and prominent chin, and their cranial capacity is about to 1590 cc with the help of post cranial remains their height was estimated 163 to 183 centimeter however their skin color amount of body hair is mere a guesswork as far as the australian fossil concerned the earliest fossil remains so far discovered came from lake lake mungo in southeastern australia the fossils suggest that population in region has a modern anatomical feature. Another important site in Australia is, is Cow Swamp. The fossil bears several archaic features. However, it, it post-cranial resembles to Australian aboriginals. It is believed that women migrated to Australia about 50,000 years ago and populated this, this, this particular continent. Technology and Art The period of modern human evolution is essentially associated with Pleistocene environment, which remained crucial in evolution of technology and art of this population. This upper Paleolithic culture was distributed in Europe, Asia and Africa. The environment was changing and it helped in emergence of tundra in Europe. Vegetation supported growth of large herds of animals. Therefore, cooperative group hunting evolved during this period. Unlike individualistic hunting, the major animals for hunting were reindeer, horse, bison, fish and so on. It seems that man might have altered the fauna of a region by hunting and by use of fire. Upper Paleolithic Technology The Upper Paleolithic Technology is generally characterized by stone blade which were very efficient tool. Blades are made, made over stone flakes. The side of flakes are roughly parallel with sharp edges. The ratio of height to breadth is more than 2 is to 1 flakes. Flakes to prepared blades were removed from 
carefully prepared course capability to make blade shows efficiency of man to use natural resources with the blade an array of tools were prepared for specialized purposes unlike lower paleolithic tool where hand axe was used as general tool by adding simple tool in different way complex tools were prepared during upper paleolithic bones antlers horns ivory were used to prepare more efficient tool as this raw material had many advantage over stone use of bone resulted into development of burin which had a point that withstand tough pressure compound projectile tools having different parts were reason of the success of upper paleolithic culture in such tools wooden hafts were used to mount blades and to provide extra force during hunting spear and harpoons were other important tools during upper paleolithic period eyed needle was another important tool which made on bone or on or ivory was perhaps used for stitching warm clothes upper paleolithic art during upper paleolithic period varieties of artistic methods and styles were deployed evolution of painting and engraving took place during this period as a result colorful styled realistic and geometric arts were evolved modeling of clay as well as painting and engraving on big surface such as cave wall to a small object such as antlers were done famous statue like venus figures with pronounced buttock and breast which replacement fertility or motherhood represent fertility or motherhood these figures were made on various material scholars have concluded that artistic work of upper paleolithic peoples were combination of events of daily life chorus and expression of spirituality the earliest artistic work of upper paleolithic was dated about 32000 year old upper paleolithic art were reported from france italy and spain etc tool making tradition is is upper paleolithic mainly include chattel peronian augnetian gravitian soltrian and magdalenian in europe archaeological sites from france have yielded almost all five types of tradition of upper paleolithic period it came just after chattel peronian around 28000 year ago people started started making tools on bowls and antlers and ivory gravitian is known for pre- uh, predominant use of bones as a raw material for tool making soltrian is more sophisticated tradition compared to earlier one magdalenian magdalenian tradition was generally associated with neanderthal almost similar blade industries were reported from regions such as middle east india siberia other European countries. Let's conclude the above information. First, to know about our own evolution, always remain remain a hunch of paleo paleoanthropologist. Fossil discoveries and analytical research have established that antiquity of modern human goes back to 195,000 years in Africa. Fossil evidence suggests that human reached asia around 100000 year ago about 50000 year back in europe and around 35000 year back in australia several tool technologies developed pictorial and geometric arts evolved and this development gradually culminated to the stage of civilization okay let's try to <coughs> recap revise or summarize some of the important points are features related to neanderthal man like research to trans evolutionary history of behavioral and 
physiological modern human that started in Europe about uh, 100 years back. Later this research it extended to other part of the globe. Fossil, the fossil of early modern humans were discovered from Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia and even in the new world. Based on the fossil evidence and the, the, the molecular data, there is two school of thought came into existence. One is the complete replacement, which shows that there the, that one complete changes that take place in that particular area. And another is that regional continuity. There is not complete replacement, the continuity will take place and induced course of continuity, there is some modification take place. So, two school of thoughts were proposed to explain the origin and peopling of modern human across the globe. An intermediate model was also proposed by some of the scholar who feel that it is not the complete displacement and regional continuity, there must be some intermediary model also. Evolution of modern human is also associated with evolution of tool and artistic tradition. So, we can see that it is not just evolution of uh, brain, evolution of bipedalism, evolution of tools, modifications of all the other structure, but there is also evolution of tradition, evolution of culture, evolution of systematic development of life also take place. With a few variation, variation evidences has been collected from different areas of the globe including cave art to symbolize sim to symbolic art and figurine figurines to statues we can also see that see that they, this this symbolic evolution is also to a great extent gave us a ample amount of explanation that now they started giving importance to the religious life giving importance to symbolic life giving importance to several other cultural features like the cave art. There is a certain religious belief and symbolic belief that this they develop this, this, this arts related to their ritualistic feature as well as magico legal feature, religio magico feature in fact we can say directly. So they have a belief that before going for hunt if they perform this religious phenomena in a dark place where very rarely few people can see and nobody can see, then their the success of hunting, the success of their if their their work will be much more higher in comparison to the early one. Symbolically, they have started a symbolic arts and figures to statues indicating them, giving them some importance, not as a as a, as a religious god to some extent somewhat nearer to that also. Okay, thank you.